Now, a lot of people don't know, but a lot of people do know. Before Queen got with Chris, me and Chris talked. Me and Chris slept together. I was the one that was in the car with your mama and your siblings when Chris put his fucking hands on you and beat the shit out of you with the damn hotel. I'm sorry, your first apartment with him. You call mama talking about, mama, come get me. Chris putting his hands on me. What did I do? I threw your mama and your siblings in the car and we got the fuck on and came and got your stupid ass. Chris, put your ass outside in your fucking drawers and a damn bra. When you and Chris want to see here and her mama talking shit about Chris and talking about he ne she never liked him and Chris is the devil. And Hi, just squad Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Just Land. And today's video is about Queen's second best friend. Um, Basically stating how she feels about Queen since she became famous and Queen and Chris. Chris and Queen's relationship, okay? But first, before we start... Like always, you already know the drill. Hit the subscribe button down below. And if you're not subscribed, like, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Um, are you living under a rock? What is going on? Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And give it a thumbs up. Definitely make sure you comment down below any type of um, reaction video y'all would like me to do next. Because I feel like you guys are loving my reaction videos. I have my makeup, my makeup um, supporters that are hitting me up on Snapchat. Like, just saying more makeup tutorials, more makeup tutorials want to see more more challenges and all this i'm like at this moment i have more requests for reactions so how about i please them and i'll make sure i please you guys as soon as i can because you already know school is back in session like we have so much going on i have to i have four classes okay and i'm full-time in college and this is my third year so it's just getting harder and harder and i cannot i don't work on youtube full-time youtube is something i do as a hobby honestly because this is not my job because i have a part-time job besides going to school i do have a part-time job so i'm not going to see and tell you guys youtube is my job i mean not yet at the moment it's not so maybe if y'all keep hitting the subscribe button down below and keep watching my video it will eventually be my job i'll go to school and do youtube both full-time but other than that youtube is not my job guys so i'm really sorry if i cannot satisfy everybody at the same time but i'll make sure i get to you guys okay i'll probably drop a makeup tutorial very soon because i just bought some new eyeshadow guys but yeah this is out of the topic let's get right on track okay mm -hmm. i'm i'm not gonna talk too much and this video is i know it's long oh sorry I know this video is long, okay? I really, really do know that. I know, but I would like you to stick around and keep watching because so many stuff I said in this video that are really important and that I want all of you guys to hear. I'm going to shut my mouth for this one and make sure you guys hear and at the end, I will give you guys my reaction because what she's saying are some real stuff. Like, I sat down, literally, I sat down and made sure I listened to everything she was saying because it makes so much sense. I'm still going to watch Chris and Queen after this and i'm still gonna support them but what this girl is saying makes so much sense i'm gonna and at the end i'll give you guys or i don't know but I, would, I don't know if i'll put it between it as a as a commercial time i'll be telling you guys what i think about half of the video and then at the end again let me think no i'm just gonna tell you guys how i feel at the end of the video so you guys understand but make sure you still watch the whole thing Cause it's really important and i might throw in some words so make sure you're watching the whole thing so you don't miss out on anything okay but yes guys i know this video is long this is my second time watching it with you guys so yeah i should actually feel a bit lucky because your girl has to watch this twice okay but this time i'm gonna put on the full screen since it's a long video so you guys can watch it like it's a little show you know get your popcorn get your tea get your coffee get your soda get your chips get anything you want to snack on because guess what <laughs> The tea is real, okay? And I, I react, I do so many things on my channel. So, this is not a gossip channel, okay? This is a reaction channel. So, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And also, turn your notification bell so you can get notified whenever your girl upload a video. And you can join the G-Squad, okay? We are hiring new members, like, and it's free 99, free to join. Like, come on now, let's, let's, let's do this, okay? Alright. I feel like I've been rambling a little bit too much. Let's get right into this video. She looks so cute. Wait till y'all get on. My 
She looks so cute. What's up, Aaron? Okay, so let me sit up. <coughs> so I'm sure everybody saw the video about Queen and Chris going around where he cheated and how many people were sharing the video. Well, the other day, actually, I think it was about two, three days ago, Queen actually decided to go on Facebook and make a status saying that she never had any real friends and she's basically alone and nobody was ever there for her. A mutual friend of ours, Markeisha, actually went and just made her own live video. By the way, I reacted to that video too, so make sure you watched it. And basically explain her side of the story. Now, anybody that knows Markeisha knows that before me and Queen met, it was always her and Markeisha. Markeisha's known Queen longer than I've known Queen. But for you to sit here and say that you never have friends when, if you want to be honest, me and Markeisha was the only ones that was there for you. And that kind of pissed me off. I didn't know about the status until Markeisha told me today. I didn't know Queen had made the status. My thing is, growing up, I mean, not even, I won't even say growing up, that when me and Queen was younger, you know, like 12, 13 years old, it was always me, her, and Markeisha. Me, her, and Markeisha was everywhere. We went to school together. We lived all by each other. We was with each other almost every day. Yeah. Wow. Like, I literally remember when... Queen I feel like that's why both of them posted a video because they're like, both hurt. Let me Queen just be quiet. No just watch. Like, people used to make fun of Queen. And the only people that really had her back was me and Keisha. So, you know, that shit, it really... That shit really, like... It made me feel some type of way. That you sit here and just say that you didn't have no friends. But yet when you dig your friends, you basically turned your back on your friends over a nigga. And at the end of the day, the nigga that you with right now don't even give a fuck about you. And I'm not saying this to fucking talk shit about her. I'm not saying this to throw shade on her name. I'm not saying it to get no views. I don't I don't really give a fuck. But you're not going to sit here and say that you never had no friends when you know damn well you had two real loyal friends that I know of. And you're not about to do that shit. Like, you're not about to slander me and Markeisha name and make it seem like we never did shit for you. Like, at all. And, you know, Queen want to sit here and have her little brother and sister come and say, well, you only mad because Queen didn't come to your baby shower. That's not why I'm mad. And the fact that y'all think that's why I'm mad shows that y'all are children. It's deeper than that. Like, it's, it's really, it's way deeper than that. The fact of the matter is, I was there for Queen through everything. When her and Chris first, first, first got together, me and Queen had moved apart. I hadn't seen Queen in maybe, maybe two years. I hadn't seen her because I moved. And when I actually went on Facebook and found her again, I saw these pictures of her and Chris. And I'm like... No, what the heck she doing with Chris? Now, a lot of people don't know, but a lot of people do know. Before Queen got with Chris, me and Chris talked. Me and Chris slept together. I won't say me and Chris dated, but shit, we slept together. It shouldn't matter. So when I saw that, I'm like, the hell? I literally messaged Queen and said, you know, what's up? You and Chris talk now. And she was like, oh yeah, we date now. And I... You know, I'm not about to sugarcoat it. I wasn't about to hide nothing. I said, you know, Queen, me and Chris slept together. Like, me and him used to talk. Oh, I know. Chris already told me, y'all, you gave him some head and da, 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 da. I'm like, no, that's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. I didn't give Chris head. I slept with Chris. And, you know, she basically, <laughs> she basically called me a liar and told me I was lying. And believed the nigga that she had just met. She probably knew him maybe three months at the time when she's known me for 10 years. So I felt some type of way. And Tina and Terrell, her younger siblings, want to sit here and say, you know, that this whole thing is because they didn't come to my baby shower. Now, part of that, part, 
part of that is, you know, why I'm, I won't even say I'm upset. I'm more so hurt. And part of that is the reason. But at the same time, it's like, Queen, you know how much I did for you. You know how much my mother did for your family, for one. And you know how much I did for you. Like, when you first, first found out you was pregnant, you was like, I don't know what to do, Ange. I don't know how to tell mama. And, you know, we Christian. We're not supposed to get pregnant outside of marriage. And we're not supposed to do this and this and that. And I was the one friend that stuck with you your entire motherfucking pregnancy. I was right by your side. You called me at 3 o'clock in the morning. Sis, I'm hungry. We at Coney Island. You called me. Sis, I'm thirsty. I'm taking you to the stove. I'm working long ass hours. Long ass hours at 7-Eleven at the time. And I'm not getting off to 3 in the morning and you messaging me. Sis, can you bring me something to eat or something to drink when I get off? Chris won't do it. And I'm driving out the way to bring you food at 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm tired and been at work for 12 hours already. When you went into labor, I was at the hospital with you the entire time you was in labor. From the time they induced you on Tuesday, actually, they induced you Saturday. From the time they induced you Saturday until you had your son Tuesday morning, I was in that hospital with you. I was on the motherfucking floor next to your hospital bed. I didn't go nowhere. And it's crazy because I was pregnant with my son at the time and didn't even know it. And I'm sleeping on the hospital floor with a blanket. I did not leave this girl's side at all. Her whole pregnancy, her entire labor and delivery. I was at her baby shower. I was there when she had her son. I was there through every fucking thing. I bought her son's first crib. I literally bought her son's first crib. She called me and said, sis, the baby don't have a crib and he do any time and I really don't know how I'm going to get it. I said, you know what? I just got my taxes. Come on, let's go Let's go to Walmart and get this baby a crib. I went and got him a crib, a playpen, a stroller, a bassinet. This baby was set. I literally dropped about $1,000 on this baby almost. And meanwhile, your husband is your fiance at the time, I bet is in the same house as us and you sitting here saying my feet hurt my back hurt what is this nigga doing playing on a motherfucking playstation not thinking shit about you i'm in the room rubbing your stomach with lotion because you got stretch marks and an itch i'm the one rubbing your feet because they look like motherfucking cow's feet and they swollen as hell i'm the one that's helping you stretch because you can't move because you done got so big because you about to have a baby i did all of that i might as well be cj daddy the whole time we at the hospital, Chris ain't say shit to me because he know not to say shit to me. He didn't speak to me the whole time we was at the hospital. And Tina and Terrell can sit here and say all they want to. You mad because of a baby shower. When at the end of the day, I had my son Halloween of 2015. My water broke the day before. I was with Queen the night before I had my son. I literally messaged Chris and said, Chris, it's time. He said, oh shit, is my nephew about to come? I said, I don't know, but I think it's time. This nigga asked me where Queen was. I said, she right here. Queen was with me the night before I had my son. So why hasn't she met my son? Why have you never seen my son in person? Why do you not know when his birthday is? She didn't even come to the hospital. I had my son. She didn't come to the hospital and see him. She went to maybe two doctor's appointments with me. Oh, I didn't even tell you all that. I went to all of her doctor's appointments. I was taking her to and from her doctor's appointments because her bitch-ass husband wouldn't do it. Why? Because he didn't have no car, no job, and uh, he didn't know what he was supposed to do. I'm sitting at doctor's appointments with you. Like, that, it's just crazy. Like, y'all, it's just, it's insane to me. And I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Like, I'm shocked. I'm shocked because I really, Queen was the type of person that you would have never really thought would do something like that. You know, Queen growing up, Queen was just, she was funny. Like, you know, she was this, this funny little girl, like making jokes and always making people laugh. And, you know, she was caring. She cared about everybody. You know, if you were sad, she was trying to see what was wrong. She was trying to make you feel better. And to just watch somebody come up and then just basically turn their back on all their friends it's trifling like it really is it's trifling because before you even got married to Chris you told me of multiple people I don't know if this is the right person for me 
And like Markeisha said, she told us both. I feel it in my spirit. I don't think this is the right decision. But all of a sudden, because you have a baby by him now, it's the, it's the right decision and you should marry him just because you have a child. You made that decision to lay down and get pregnant in my motherfucking bed, in my mother's house. You made that decision. So now, because you got pregnant outside of marriage, you want to try to cover it up and make it seem like it's not a sin by getting married? That's not how it work. That's not how it work. That's, that's, that's not going to keep your family together. And that's exactly why the shit is falling apart now, because you did some sinful shit and you went behind God's back. And he don't like that. So now he's punishing you. You might not like it. You might not like it at all. But at the end of the day, you put yourself in that situation. The same way you sat here and talked shit about your friends on Facebook, but had the nerve to just turn around and say, oh, I don't care what she posts. And at the end of the day, if they were my real friends, they'd still have my back after the things I did. Bitch, what? So you, it's okay for you to go and speak on me and, Marque, and Mar, me and Markeisha and say that we was never your friends and you never had real friends and basically turn your back on all your friends. But at the end of the day, we supposed to still stick around. We supposed to stick around and be real friends to you when you was never real friends to us, really? Really? That's, that's what we do. Oh, okay. Like, it's, it's crazy to me, you know, I literally did so much shit for Queen and her family and for this bitch to say, not, I'm not talking about Queen when I say this bitch. I'm talking about her little ass sister. For this bitch to sit here and say, you never did shit for us. Bitch, I put food in your motherfucking house. My mother put beds in y'all home. Dog, you hid y'all car in our backyard for two months because the repo people was trying to come and take it from y'all. But you sit here and say that we never did nothing for you. No, bitch, you never did nothing for us at all. Your mama was the one calling people's phone, mooching for gas money because she couldn't get to work. Your mama was the one calling me, begging me to have some of my food stamps because she didn't know how she was going to put food in the house. Every time I went to that house, y'all fridge was fucking empty as hell. Empty. While queen pregnant. It ain't a goddamn drop of food in that house. Nothing. I'm the one saying, come on, mama, I got y'all. Let me take y'all up to Kroger and get you some food in this house. I sat there with y'all and starved with y'all. I was hungry with y'all. I slept on floors in the fucking basement with y'all. Ain't nobody else do that shit with you. And when you didn't have nowhere to go, my mother let you come into her home. And you went behind her back and got pregnant. But you say that I'm not a loyal friend. I took the bullet for that shit. My mama wanted to kick my ass when she found out you got pregnant in her home. Because she told me, Angela, I'm going to let this little boy stay in his house. But I don't want them in the same bed. I don't want them in the same bed. And what did I do? I went behind my mama back and said, okay, well, just y'all can sleep in the same bed. Just don't do nothing. And not only did you do something, but you got pregnant. You got pregnant on top of that. Like... It's just, it, girl, it's just, I'm not keeping shit to myself. I'm over the shit. I'm telling it all. I don't give a fuck. She can go on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and snap and tell all of these fake ass lies about everybody. No, fuck that. I'm not keeping shit to myself no more. I'm sick of this bullshit. I'm sick of her and these fake ass lies. I'm sick of her saying that ain't nobody ever there for her and don't nobody ever help her do nothing. It wasn't nobody real to her. I'm sick of that shit. I'm sick of it. I've been holding this shit down for too damn long. I've been holding this shit for three fucking years now. And I'm not about to hold the shit no more. I'm not holding it no fucking more. Because I did too much shit for that bitch to sit around and act like I never did nothing for her. I was the one that was in the car with your mama and your siblings when Chris put his fucking hands on you and beat the shit out of you with the damn hotel. Oh, I'm sorry, your first apartment with him. You called mama talking about mama come get me. Chris putting his hands on me. What did I do? I threw your mama and your siblings in the car and we got the fuck on and came and got your stupid ass. Chris, put your ass outside in your fucking drawers and a damn bra when you was eight months pregnant. Eight months pregnant. And what did I do? I put a blanket around you and ran your ass to the car and threw you in the car. And you said to me when we got to the house, sis, I'm not going back. I'm not going back to him. I swear I'm not going back. And your ass turned around and went back. 
you turned around and went back. Now, I'm not going to say you're stupid for going back because every female makes mistakes. Every female is going to do that. Every female is going to run back at least once in their life. But to consistently keep doing it when you notice you're stupid for doing it, I'm not about to sit here and feel bad because he cheated on you. Because you knew, you knew at the end of the day, you've known that he's been cheating on you. You've known. This ain't no secret. People on YouTube and Facebook are like, oh my God, Chris cheated? Nigga, Chris been cheating. Chris been cheating since they got together five years ago. He, that nigga been cheating. And he ain't just cheating with females. Like, it's just fucking crazy to me. It's crazy. And Chris want to sit here and her mama talking shit about Chris and talking about he ne she never liked him and Chris is the devil and all this other shit. And Queen's just, oh, no, mom, he's not like that. And then now that they making a little bit of money, now that they didn't got up on YouTube and they making a little bit of money now, her mama suddenly, oh, he's the best son-in-law ever because you a mooching ass bitch. That's all you good for. And her mama not going to say shit and she know not to fucking say shit because she know everything I'm saying is true. She know everything I'm saying right now is true as fuck. I was the one queen was crying to when Chris was about to leave her. And she was crying to me when she was pregnant. Talking about my baby not going to have a father. I don't know what to do. I was there. I was the one holding you and letting you cry on my shoulder. Talking about sis, me and you got this. This our baby. We got this shit. We good. We got this shit. And for you to just turn around and act like I never did shit for you. Like. Bro, like, it's just crazy, man. Like, I don't understand. I really don't understand how somebody that you could, like, I was down for this bitch from day one. Like, bro, when she went on American Idol, before she went to American Idol, she was staying with me. Like, when she went to American Idol, I called her and said, you got this, sis, you got this. She called me back like, sis, I made it. She was so excited. And I said, I knew you could do it. I told you you could do it. And this bitch just, just, you get a little bit of money and... It just dip like like see and then a lot of people think that it's queen doing the shit but really y'all don't know that the shit goes back to chris it all goes back to chris if chris when chris was not in the picture queen was my god like if y'all really knew the real queen and it's so hard to explain it because y'all don't fucking know her y'all know the queen you see on youtube but y'all don't know y'all don't know queen you don't know the real queen like, Queen was the most little, she was just humble and all about God, and she didn't cuss, and she was just all about, Ange, let's go to church, and you need to get baptized, Ange, and please stop getting these tattoos all over your body, and I, I want you to start reading the Bible, and I remember sitting up making videos with her on YouTube, like, after I got baptized about, you know, trying to get into church, and we was trying to get people to get baptized, and I was just, my bad, y'all, I'm about to cry. Like, we was just, we was, we was like this, bro. We was like this. And I just, I don't get it. Like, I really don't get it. Like, the shit foul. It's foul for real. It really is. Like, you let yourself completely forget about your family and friends over a nigga. Over a little bit of money. Over some fucking views. Over over some motherfucking followers and views that ain't at the end of the day not doing shit for you. You don't know these people from fucking Adam. Your asses could go fucking, you could stop making YouTube videos tomorrow and you'll never hear from these bitches again. These bitches don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. You could die today. You think them bitches gonna be at your funeral? They gonna be on YouTube like, oh damn, Chris, Chris and Queen dead? Oh shit. But you think any of them bitches gonna really give a fuck? You think they're going to contribute to come to your funeral or yell alone contribute to anything? They're not going to give a shit. Bro, they're not going to give a shit. Trust me. They is not going to give a fuck. Like, man, like, I can't even, I can't even say Queen was my best friend because she wasn't just my best friend. That bitch was my sister. Like, me and Queen did everything together, bro. We did everything together. And... It's just, bro, I just, I don't understand. And anybody that knows me knows that I was a real last fucking friend to Queen. I was a real last fucking friend to that girl. I'm going to stop calling her a bitch because that's making me sound like I'm, I'm bitter about stuff. It's not even that I'm bitter, I'm just hurt. And I know y'all be seeing my statuses about me talking shit about her, but... Y'all, I mean, anybody that know me knows I don't mean the shit that she be saying. I don't, I don't mean the shit that I be saying on Facebook, but... 
it hurts. Like, it hurt. The fact that you was not there for me through nothing. You wasn't there for me through my pregnancy. You wasn't there when I had my son. You didn't even come to his first birthday, yet alone my baby shower. And I'm supposed to be your best friend. I found a way to her baby shower. I walked to her baby shower. So for you to sit here and say, oh, I can't come because I ain't got no ride. Bitch, find one. Just like I found one to your fucking baby shower. You could have found one to my shit. You could have at least acted like you gave a fuck. But that's the thing. Queen and Chris, they don't give a fuck. They don't, they don't give a fuck about shit, but they damn selves and they fucking followers. That's why every time you see them, they damn baby in the background screaming or some shit. Because they don't pay attention to him. And it's, it's about to sound crazy, but I really feel like they only had that baby to get YouTube views. That shit probably sound crazy as fuck, but I really believe that shit. Like, I really believe that. They had that baby because they knew it was going to get them some more followers on YouTube. Because if you notice, they wasn't shit before they had that baby. As soon as they start posting Chris on fucking YouTube, they blew the fuck up. As soon as they posted that they got married, they blew the fuck up. But, like, I literally, I remember... I remember Queen calling me talking about she thought she just had a miscarriage and she was bleeding everywhere. I remember her telling me about her stepdaddy putting his fucking hands on her in sexual ways. Like, it's just, I remember so much shit that she told me. And for her to sit here and say I was never a friend. I kept them secrets for years. I kept them secrets for years and didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell nobody because I was a friend and I wasn't about to sit here and expose the fuck out of her like that. But when you start sitting here saying that I was never there for you, you're not about to get away with that. Just like Markeisha said, once you cross me, you cut off. I'm sorry. Like, and it's, it's, it's just the fact that I have to make a video because I know that you got so many followers that it'll get back to you is sad. The fact that you were supposed to be my best friend, but I can't even call you and ask how you been. I got to go on YouTube to watch a video to see if you're doing okay. The fact that you blocked me on Facebook because your husband told you to. He literally said, babe, she a hater, block her. And you went and blocked me because I asked Chris why he was selling his Instagram page. This nigga told you to block me and you went and did it. Like, it's just, it's crazy. It's just crazy to me. Like, I, I was there when Chris proposed to you. I was there. I was right there by your side when he proposed. We was at a football game. I was there. Like, I was there through so much. I was there through y'all breakups. I was there through you finding out he cheated on you the first time. Like, I was literally, I was a real ass bitch. Like, bro. Bro. <laughs> I lost the job because of you. That night Chris put his hands on you when we had to come back and get you. I called off work three days in a row for you and lost my job. Why? Because I was a friend and I wanted to be there for my friend because I knew she was going through some crazy shit at the time. You was pregnant. You was scared. You was hurt. And I was there for you. I ended up losing my job for that shit. Like, it's crazy, bro. And you just sit here and act like it ain't a big deal. And when people call out the truth, you want to say they looking for clout. It ain't clout, nigga. It's not clout at all. We talking the truth and you mad because your fake ass relationship ain't got nothing but lies in it. Like, people can only watch a lie for so long before they get sick of it. And I'm sick of this shit now. Like, I've been watching these fake ass YouTube videos for three years and I'm just sitting here shaking my head like, bro, that's not them. Like, that ain't them. If y'all really knew them, you would not be following them. You would not be supporting them. Like, how the fuck... You my best friend, but you gonna judge me for getting tattoos. And you shouldn't do that. That's a sin. You're gonna go to hell. But then you get with Chris and turn around, not only get pregnant outside of marriage, but you up on the stage right after you find out you parents pray or about to be fucking parents, you praising God and junk. Like you up there, hallelujah, and you just found out you was pregnant, but you outside of where like though. Like how? You judging me for getting tattoos and sleeping with people when I'm dating people, but you turn around and sleep with somebody, get pregnant lying like you lied about the situation then you turn around and get a whole bunch of tattoos when you and chris get together but you judge me for doing the same thing you just did but because you getting money off of it is right because i'm not profiting and making money out of my life i'm 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 a sinner 
and her sister gonna say well you hate no queen because she in texas and she live in a mansion but where do you live i said i live in a town home that i pay rent in and i go to work and i have a car and i take care of my son where the fuck is you at because last time i checked you were still living in a motherfucking hood with your mama you ain't doing shit with your life you ain't doing nothing at all with your life and neither is your mooching ass mama and i really i really want her mama to say something to me i really do he said he cheated because he was looking for love and thought their relationship was just for social media. This nigga. <sighs> this dumbass fag. I can't. I cannot, y'all. Like, it's just, it's so much. Like, I remember Queen telling me Chris is putting his hands on her and she needed to leave. Like, it was just, man, when she got molested, I was there. Me and Markeisha was there. Like, I mean, we wasn't physically there, but we was by her side after she told us. Like, it's just, it's a lot. It really is. It's a lot more to it. But, I mean, y'all only gonna believe what Queen posts because she, apparently everything she says is true or she wouldn't have so many goddamn followers. But, you know, just like she keeps saying, all clout, not good clout. <laughs> all relationships ain't good relationships. And you basically staying in a relationship for your son. And right now I'm talking to Queen as a woman. You staying in a relationship for your child is not going to make that nigga change. It's not going to make him change and it's not going to make him give a fuck. Ask me how I know because I do this shit by myself. Amir daddy ain't here. That nigga don't help with shit, barely. He might buy him some fucking clothes every blue moon. But physically, his daddy ain't called and checked on him since Labor Day. Since motherfucking Labor Day, and it's damn near October now. So, I'm gonna tell you this, and I'm not gonna say it with no hate, and I'm not gonna say it with no bitterness, and I'm not gonna say it with no anger. Queen, your ass needs to fucking leave while you have the chance while you can while you have the money to because shit is not gonna change girl it's not it's not gonna change he gonna keep doing it he's gonna keep cheating he's gonna keep lying he's gonna keep using you he's gonna keep threatening you he's gonna keep putting his hands on you nothing is going to change unless you make a change you have to put your you gotta learn you have to learn and you've always been soft-spoken i know that i know that queen you've always been soft-spoken You've always been afraid of, you know, drama and you've been afraid of confliction and you never like to be in drama, but you brought this on yourself. You decided you wanted to make a, a relationship that was in the limelight and through media and that's something you brought on yourself. So now you got to deal with it. You got to deal with it now, but stay in a relationship just because you have a child with somebody, boo, it's not going to change. It's not going to change at all. Nothing is going to change. You're going to look up. And you're going to be then married, you're going to be with this nigga for 15 years. CJ going to be then grown up and move the fuck out and you're still going to be dealing with the same dumb shit. It's not going to change. I'm telling you. It took me leaving a relationship after two years to realize that nigga wasn't going to change. He wasn't going to change. And he didn't put his hands on me, but it was this shit that I, I was peeping. And I'm like, you know, shit ain't going to change. It's just not going to change. It's not. It's, it's really not. And you might sit here and be able to say, you know. But see, Leah, she didn't fail so many times. That's why I don't understand. Like, Queen ain't just been cheated on once or twice or three times or even four times. Chris been cheating on her since they've been together. How many times you gonna have to fall to realize the shit hurt? Like, how many times? How many times are you gonna fall before you like, shit, this shit really fucking hurt? Like, how many times, my nigga? Because I fought one time and I'm like, fuck that. I don't want to do it again. That shit hurt it. That shit really fucking hurt it. And is, I mean, she just, I don't, I don't know. I love Queen. I love Queen to death. I would do a lot of shit for Queen. And anybody that knows me knows that. But I don't, I don't understand how many times you physically have to hurt yourself before you realize the shit hurts. And... Kristen put her through a lot. He really did. 
After she had her son, this nigga wouldn't even let her family come up there. Mind you, Queen was sick as fuck. Queen almost died when she had CJ. I remember. Queen lost so much blood when she had CJ, they had to give her a transfusion. She stayed in the hospital for a week. And, you know, I went home after CJ was born and I didn't hear from Queen. And I was worried. I was like, you know, why haven't I heard from my best friend? She just had the baby and I haven't heard nothing from her. You know, I called to talk to Queen, make sure she was okay. And Chris answered the phone and said, stop calling my girlfriend. Stop calling her. She don't got nothing to say to you. Stop calling her. Like, who the fuck are you to tell her family and friends that care about her to stop fucking calling her after she just had a baby? Who the hell is you? You ain't shit but Chris Sales. That's it. You ain't nothing important. You ain't nobody. Trust me, Queen can raise a baby without your ass. But a lot of the anger between me and Queen comes from Chris. And I won't even say to this because me and Chris slept together or me and Chris once had something going on. I won't even say it's because of that. It's just the simple reason you don't do that shit to your friends, bro. You don't turn your back on your friends like that. That's just some shit you do not fucking do. I don't care how angry you get. I don't care. I don't care how mad you get or how, you know, how bad your husband pisses you off. You don't turn your back on your friends. People that's been with you since day one. People that was there for you when you didn't have shit. I starved with you, my nigga. Like, we starved together. We slept together. We shit together. We ate together. Like, if you had money, I had money. If I had money, you had money. Like, we was going to the movies. You ain't had the money to pay. I paid for you. If we was going and I didn't have it, you paid for me. Like, we was like this, bro. Like, we was close. We was close as fuck. Like, bro, it's just... It's crazy. It's just, bro, it's a lot. Like, I never would have thought I would be sitting here making a video like this about Queen. He has her mind before physical abuse. It's possible mental abuse takes place first. She has to want to leave deep down inside, but she's stuck. The things she's going through. So... I know how it is, Leah. I know. But at the same time, it's been going on for five years. Like, when did you going to realize the shit is not going to change? It takes five years to realize that it's going to be the same shit? Like, no. But I feel you. I understand what you're saying. And I know. And that's why I'm trying to be, I won't say easy on her, but, you know, because you can't be easy on her no more. It's time for her to real, it's time for her to hear some real ass shit and see how we feel from looking on the outside in and seeing what the relationship is. And honestly, I will say, when I saw the video, when I saw her take him back, I was mad as fuck. Like, come on now, Queen, you smarter than that. You smarter than that, man. You smarter. You was the same one when I was with, I'm not going to say his name, but when I was with old boy and me and him was going through the shit and he was putting his hands on me. You was sitting here saying, and you need to get out. You need to leave him. He's not going to change. Shit's not going to change. And now you in the same boat and people telling you it's not going to change. It's not going to change. And you making excuse after excuse after excuse. You cannot keep making excuses for the devil, queen. You can't do it. You can't make excuses for the devil. Because that nigga going to do what he want to do. And that's exactly what the fuck Chris is doing. That nigga did exactly what he wanted you to do. He done made you do everything he wanted to do. He done pulled you away from your family. He done pulled you away from your friends. <laughs> that nigga done made you move to Texas, bro. Motherfucking Texas. Anybody that knows Queen knows that she is a mama's girl. That girl is a mama's girl to the fullest. She is a mama's girl. I know. I know. I remember her staying the night in my house and crying because she missed her mama. And her mama was around the fucking corner. And she's like, Ange, I want to go home. I miss mama. And I had to literally drive her around the corner so she could give her mama a hug. Like, that's the type of queen that I know. I don't know who this new girl is. I don't know where she came from. But I don't like her. I don't like her. I want queen back. I want queen back. I want the girl back that I was able to call at 3 o'clock in the morning and laugh with and tell my problems to. And she was like, come over. Let's go to Coney Island. And we sit at Coney Island for hours and eat french fries. Like... <laughs> That's my queen. That's the queen I know. Like, that was my that was my boo. And it probably sound gay as fuck, but queen was my everything. Like, she really was. That was my best friend. That was my roly. That was my sister. 
Like, she was, that girl, she, yeah. She was really, she was really the only person that I really had for real. Like, that was my roly. That was my day one. It wasn't shit you could say to me about Queen. I wouldn't give a fuck. At the end of the day, that was my best friend. So I was going to always take her side. Even when I knew she was wrong, I was going to take her side. But I was going to tell her about herself after. I remember her telling me she didn't even want to be with Chris. She was only with Chris because of the baby. So, I don't understand. Like, you see that the relationship is not changing. You see that he's doing the same thing. Anytime he can sit in this video and the lady ask him how many times have you cheated and this nigga really shrug his shoulders and say he don't know. That should have been your cue right there that it's time to step. It's time to get the fuck on. And she's sitting here saying, well, I got to think about what's right for my son. And we have to think about CJ. Well, being in a toxic ass relationship is not what's right for your son. Being in a toxic, a toxic ass relationship like that is not what's going to be best for your son. She is. And you know, honestly, when I watched the video, when I watched the video last night of her and Queen or her and Chris, I really did. I cried. I cried a little bit because for one, as a woman, I felt her pain. I know how it feels to get cheated on. I know how it feels to love somebody and they do that behind your back and they expose you and make you look stupid as fuck. I know how that feels. So coming from a woman's point of view, I did cry. I did cry for her. And I, I, I told myself out loud, I said, man, I just wish I could hug her right now. I wish I could hug her and let her know you're not in this shit alone. You can do this. You can get out of this still. You're not in it alone. And that's what her thing is. She thinks that because if she leaves, she's not going to have nobody. But really, you're not realizing that because you're staying, you don't have nobody. You don't have no friends because you're staying. You don't have no family because you're staying. Your relationship is falling downhill because you're staying. God don't want you to stay. That's why he's making you fall apart. You got married for one. You got married behind, you got married behind his back. You told me, queen. You said... I asked God if Chris was the right one for me, and he told me no. You told me that to my face, and I hope you say that I, that you didn't because you know you did. You told me that straight to my face and said, Ange, I asked, and God told me no. He didn't give me his approval. And I said, well, maybe you should wait. Maybe he's not the one, queen, and you still. And to make it worse, you went behind mama's back and got married on devil's night. You got married to Chris on October 30th. But you're wondering why your relationship falling downhill. You went behind everybody's back. You didn't give yourself time. You didn't give yourself time to grow. You rushed. You rushed everything. Like, boo, you rushed it all. You rushed having a baby. And you sit here and say, well, and you used to always tell me that you wanted a baby. And you was always, queen, I just want a baby. But what you're not understanding is you doing this shit in a foul way. You're doing it in a foul way. And as a real friend, that's not some type of stuff you rub in your friend's face. Just like when we got into it and you said you just mad because you can't have a baby and I can. That shit still hurts me. That shit still hurts me. I still think about that to this day and it hurts me that you said that to me because you know how bad I wanted a baby. You know I was trying for a baby. You knew I couldn't get pregnant. And I tried so hard. I tried so hard to have a baby, and I couldn't. And when I got pregnant with my son, I was happy. And a lot of people was like, what you so happy for? It's not good. You about to be a single mother. I didn't give a fuck because I finally had my son and I wanted So I didn't need no nigga. I was proud. And I wish that you could say the same thing. I wish that you could sit back and say, I'm strong. I don't need no nigga. I got a son. I'm trying to raise my son to be a man. But you're not. You're not thinking about your child. You're not. If you was thinking about your child, you would get out of that relationship. But right now, you're being selfish. You being selfish by staying in that relationship for your fucking own good. For your own pleasure. You staying in that punk ass relationship. And it's not doing shit for you. Your son is old enough now to understand. He sees that shit. He sees you going through it. He sees you crying. He sees him putting his hands on you. He said, Chris, CJ is not stupid. He's two. He knows what the fuck is going on. He sees the shit. So for you to say you doing it for your son because you got to think about him, don't bring him into that. Because you're not thinking about him at the end of the day. If you was thinking about him, you would leave. You would get out. You would tell yourself, oh man, I got to go because I don't need my son to see this. I don't want him growing up thinking that this is the right way to be married and this is the perfect marriage. You would leave. That's why I left Amir's daddy. I left because I knew that if I didn't leave, it was going to be a broken ass family and it was going to be nothing but drama. 
and I left. I made that decision. And people can sit here and say, well, you a single mother, and that's on you, and you put that on yourself. Yeah, I did put that on myself, but at the end of the day, my son don't want for shit. My son got everything he want and need. My son ain't running around with fucking saggy ass diapers because I'm too busy making YouTube videos to pay attention to him. Like, it's just, I feel for her. I do. I do feel for Queen and I do feel bad for her. But at the same time, you know, I shouldn't be having to make a live video to get to you. I shouldn't be having to go live in order for you to see this. And it's so many arguments that we've gotten into recently because of Chris. And you sit here and say, well, she's mad because of this and she's mad because of that. But you never once came to me and asked me, Angie, why are you really upset? What's really in your heart? What's really on your mind? You never came to me and asked. If you had to ask, I would have told you step by step, just like I just did in this video. I would have told you I'm hurt because you did this. But I forgave you. Like, I forgave you for everything. Like, it's so much stuff I forgave you for. Like, I forgave you for getting in, getting me in trouble because you got pregnant. Like, I forgave you for so much shit. I forgave you for not coming to the hospital when I had my son and not coming to his baby shower. I forgave you for not checking up on me or even asking how I was doing. I forgave you for the times that you would say that we was going to go do something and then we not do it because Chris wanted to do something else. Like, I forgave you. I never gave you through a, for a lot, a lot of stuff. And, you know, I never even got to thank you for none of the stuff I did. Like, all of the stuff I did for you, I never even, I never even got to thank you. Like, you never even, CJ is too. You never even to this day came to me and said, you know, Ange, I really want to thank you for being there for me through everything. My pregnancy, my labor, when I had him. You never even gave me a thank you. Like at all. And that shit that shit do hurt. It do. It do. Cause I did the stuff out of the kindness of my heart because you was my friend. And I was like, you know, I can't leave my friend hanging like this. She about to have a baby. This is her first baby. She's scared. She don't really got nothing. I did that out the kindness of my heart. But <laughs> you never got my son shit. You never even seen my son. You never even saw him. And that shit right there is deep. That's deep. Our sons is exactly... Actually, the CJ just turned three. I don't know. I think CJ... No, CJ is two. He's two. Because they're almost a year apart. Because when she was having CJ, I had just found out I was pregnant. And CJ's birthday is in February. So he's about to be three. And my son's about to be two. And you've never met him. Motherfuckers forget where they came from. She did. She really did. And I'm worried. Like, I can honestly say I'm worried about Queen. I really am. I'm worried about her. Because it's like, the stuff that she's doing is not Queen. Like, Queen didn't do this stuff before Chris. Queen was the one that was trying to push everybody in the right direction. And now she's going downhill. And it does. It scares me. I worry about her. I do a lot. Like, I think about Queen every day. And I be like, I just hope she's doing okay. I, you can see me talk shit about her on Facebook all you want to, but I'm doing that because I'm angry. And it's not right. I'm not saying it's right at all, but at the same time, y'all need to understand where my frustration come from and why I'm upset. And stop just looking at it as I'm being bitter or I'm trying to get clout. Like, no. I'm not trying to get clout and I'm not being bitter. I'm being a concerned friend and I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Like, I have a fucking reason to be pissed. Like, I really have a reason. Anytime your nigga can tell you to block your best friend and you do it, like, it's something wrong with that, bro. It's something really wrong with that. That shit ain't normal. For your husband to sit here and tell you in the hospital your family can't come see you and you agree with that and say, okay. My thing would have been, bitch, get the fuck out of my hospital room because my family is about to come see me so you can get to stepping. But instead, you took his side and said, okay. I didn't even get to see CJ until he was some months old. And that was my best friend. CJ was supposed to be my godson. Like, it's just, it's too much. It really is. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. But I am. I'm really worried about her. 
because it's like she really just she not only forgot where she came but or came from but she forgot who god was because anybody that knows queen knows that she was she was this godly woman like she was in church every day and i remember me and queen used to go to church every day like we was in church every day my mama got sick of me because i was never at home no more but it was because i was at church like we was at church monday we was at church wednesday for bible study then we was at church on thursday getting ready for service on sunday like it was just we was at church every day we would literally it was certain nights that we would bring covers and blankets and food and sleep and eat in the church that was our home we was in church all the time and a lot of y'all probably don't even know but i didn't used to always be as angry as i am when i was going to church when I was going to church all the time, back right before I found out I was pregnant with Amir, I got baptized the the February before I found no, I got baptized in yeah February, the February before I found out I was pregnant with Amir, I got baptized. I found out I was pregnant a year after that, and then they closed my church down the May after I found out I was pregnant. And when they closed my church down, that shit hurt. I was like, dang, like where am I gonna go now? Like who am I gonna vent to? Like, that was my home. Like, I felt so safe in that church. And then it wasn't even just because it was the church. It was because of the people I was with. I was with Queen every day. I was with her mama. I was with, you know, I was with their family. Like, we was in there. We was in there together. We was a family. And to just watch your entire family drift apart like that, it's deep. It is. It really is. And if she gave any types of fuck about her family, there's no way she would have moved to Texas and left her mama here. I wish I would. I wish I would come up off of YouTube, be making bank like she making, and just up and move to Texas and leave my mama here. My mama would kill me for one. And for second, like, that's just not something you do. You don't forget about your family. Like, bro, you take your family with you. You don't never come up and forget who was there for you when you came up. Like, you just, you don't do that. You don't do that shit at all. And I be, I do, I pray for her, you know. I ask God to please show her that this is not the relationship she think it is. But you can only tell somebody so much. And just because you tell them something don't mean they gonna listen. It's like, I'm sure this video will get back to her. You stupid, Leah. Now, I'm sure this video is gonna get back to her, but don't mean she gonna watch it. And I don't care if she watches it. I just want to get my story out there so that people know that I'm not just being bitter. I'm not just saying this shit to get clout. I'm not saying it because I want money. I'm not saying it because I'm bitter. No, I'm saying it because I'm sick of this shit. And I'm sick of people, you know, making it seem like Queen is this perfect-ass relationship when she's not. And she sit here and say, well... Just because I post all of my stuff on Facebook don't mean you got to go and go and talk shit. Like, why? You post, you, if you feel like, if you post your relationship on Facebook, people is going to have comments. And you can't get mad if the comments is negative. Y'all is dumb. I'm not about to play with y'all. <laughs> but. I don't know, y'all. Like, she really, she, she really needs to be prayed for. She do. Just the fact, like, I was really praying. I was really praying that she would be done with this nigga this past time that he cheated. I was like, yes. Maybe she'll be done. Maybe she'll see that this is not what she thought. Maybe she'll get out. Watched that damn Hurt Bay Part 2 video last night and was like, nigga. She took his ass right back. After he sat there and said, I can't say for sure that I'll never cheat on you again. I'm going to try to be the best man that you need me to be. But I can't say that I'm never going to cheat on you again. You tell me that, I'm stepping. Because I'd be damned if you cheat on me that many times. I'd be damned if you cheat on me once and I go back. No. No, I'm killing you and that bitch. I'm going to make hip rolling videos. These hips don't lie. Bitch, you stupid. <laughs> Leah, go to bed. The door is that way. <laughs> yeah, he said that. Girl. This nigga literally said in a video last night, he said, I can't promise that I'm never going to cheat on you again. 
I'm gonna try, but I can't make no promises. I can never, I can't say that it won't ever happen again. You literally said that. Yep. It's just a lot. Like, mm -mm. and it's really not funny. It's really not. It's really a sad. It's a sad subject. It's it's really sad. We need some humor. He's a joke. <laughs> he is a joke. He really is. But, you know, my main thing is to... Queen needs to open her eyes. She's so blinded. And, you know, her mama used to always say, you so blinded by the way he looked that you're not seeing how he look on the inside. You're just looking at the pretty face. And I really think that's part of the reason she's so attracted to Chris that she don't see that the stuff he doing is ugly. It's ugly. You don't cheat on your wife. And then for it to go public, like, there's no way in my mind that I believe that those females didn't know who Chris was. You know. He all over YouTube, all over Facebook, all over Snap, all over Instagram. Shit, they in everybody's fucking emails. So you can't sit here and tell me that for one second. You live in the United States and don't know who the hell Chris and Queen are. There's no way you can't tell me that. You couldn't pay me a million dollars for me to believe that bullshit. Mm -mm. Nope, I'm not falling for it. It's, it's crazy. And Chris will tell that whole little sob story about he ain't never have no family and shit. It is sad. Getting cheated on hurts deep. It does. It hurts deep. And that's why I'm not I'm not being hard on her right now. And I'm not saying nothing that's, you know, rude or mean to her. I'm just telling her the truth. Shut up, Devon. I'm just telling her the truth because she needs to hear it. She needs to hear the shit. She needs to know that nothing is going to change. And she can sit here and pray. <laughs> it's one thing a lot of people don't know you can pray for God to do something all you want to and you can pray for him to help you with something all he wants to but if it's not what's right he's not going to help you that's like me I could sit here and pray all day that my baby daddy be a good dad but at the end of the day it's not going to change nothing it's not because God planned our life before we even knew what it was so God already knows what's going to happen he knew that Brian wasn't going to be a dad to Amir when I got pregnant with him. He already had knew. I didn't know, but he knew already. He knew that this whole situation with me and Queen was going to happen before it even happened. Because he knows. And she's going to sit here and keep praying for a relationship that God never approved. And it's not going to work. And she wonders why it's not going to work. And it's because he never approved it. You went behind his back. You went behind his back and got married. You went behind his back and got pregnant. You went behind his back and turned on your family. And now you praying. Now you praying for him to fix your relationship that he never even gave your approval to. He never told you it was okay to do that relationship. Ever. He never said, yes, I give you permission to go and marry Queen. You told me he told you no. You said, I prayed to God. He told me not to marry Chris. He told me that he was not the one for me. But the fact that you still went and did it, that's why your relationship is falling apart. That's why he's cheating. That's why it's not working with your family. Chris' voice is so damn irritating. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I mean, I just, I just pray that she open her eyes and finally see that this is not what she thought it was. It's not. No amount of money is good enough to stay in a relationship that's toxic. I'm sorry. It's not. Especially when you have a child. You have a child to think about. I can't even imagine myself still being in a relationship with fucking Brian right now. I can't. I couldn't. Mm -mm. It's not healthy. People always say, oh, two parents. A child should have both parents in the home. No, they shouldn't. Not if it's negative. Because at the end of the day, that's going to traumatize that child. They're going to see these parents arguing every day, and it's going to traumatize them. Just because you have a child together does not mean you have to be together. I say this shit every day, and nobody fucking listens to me. You do not have to stay in a relationship just because you have a child. 
And these little young ass females nowadays be thinking they about to pop a baby out at 17 and make a nigga grow up. No. No, it's not. He's 17. He ain't thinking about settling down and having no kids and being a damn house daddy. He just getting started. Like, and I really, that's really what happened with Chris. He just turned 22 today. When they got together, Chris was 22, 21, 22, 16 and 17 when they got together. Chris got Queen pregnant the first time when she was 17, 18, and she had a miscarriage. It wasn't time. And God tried to tell her then, this is not what I want for you. This is not time. And you kept doing it. You kept going behind his back. And now you're wondering why it's failing. That's why I didn't gave up on a lot of stuff. Because I know it's not what God wants. So I stopped pushing it. I stopped trying. It's only so much stuff you can do. You can't just keep forcing stuff. You cannot. Like you can't just keep on forcing stuff and expecting it to work. If it doesn't work the first or the second or the third time, it's probably not going to work the sixth, the seventh, or the eighth time. So, I mean, that's it. That's all I really got to say. I don't really know what else to say. I'm kind of shocked. Like I'm still in, I'm still in shock right now. I mean, I never thought that I would be making a video about my ex-friend and saying how she turned on me like this. Like, this was not... <laughs> I didn't sit down and play with my dolls and say, when I grow up, I want my best friend to become fake. Like, that wasn't... That's was not what I had planned, but... Hey, shit happens. Shit happens. You can't do nothing about it. Stuck around long enough. Hope getting this off your chest. Hope you better get some rest. Girl, I'm about to go to sleep. But, you know, I just wanted people to hear hear me out. You know, people keep saying I'm bitter and all this other stuff. And I'm not I'm not bitter at all. I'm hurt. And I have a reason to be hurt. And I'm done sitting back and just letting people talk shit about me and say, you know, I'm this and I'm that. And I'm a cock blocker and I'm trying to look for clout. Nah, I'm just sick of the bullshit. You know, that was my best friend. So... You know, hey, hopefully it gets back to her. Hopefully she watches Markeisha's video, even though she said she wasn't going to watch it. But, yeah. Share it if you want to. I don't really care. Like it. I don't give a fuck. I don't care no more. Send it to her. I could give two shits less. But I do want her to eventually see it. And I want her to watch Markeisha's video because she needs to know, like, this is what you did to your so-called friends and this is what you put them through. Because it's a lot. You did. You put us through a lot. Girl, clout is some word that these new age fucking teenagers made up. Like, basically how we can say, you just trying to get famous. You just looking to get famous. Instead of them saying, you looking to get famous, they say you looking for clout. It's the dumbest fucking word I've ever heard. But, apparently, it's what these new teenagers are using nowadays. So, I have to use it in order to understand and for them to understand what I'm saying. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what the fuck is clout mean? <laughs> what the hell is that? But, yeah, y'all. That's what I have to say. I've been telling y'all I was going to make the video for the longest. And, you know, I wasn't going to do it. But, after seeing that status about her never having no friends and nobody ever being there for her. I was like, yeah. It's, it's that time now. I'm about to go to bed. And shit, thank y'all for viewing. Thank y'all for tuning in, I guess, you know. I wasn't really looking for y'all to tune in. I just wanted to get the shit off my chest. But hope y'all have a good night. I'm about to get the fuck out of here now. So you guys watched it with me. That was a long one hour, y'all. That was long. Woo! And I had to watch it twice because for this reaction video and for earlier when I found out the video came out. So yes guys, um, I feel like this girl is a real friend. I'm not gonna lie, like I need those type of friends in my life. She was buying all the stuff for the baby and what? Uh-uh, she lost her job for her best friend. I need that type of friends. Where you at? Hit my DMs, hit my Snapchat, you already know. It's gonna be listed down below. You hit me up if you're a good friend, okay? I'm hiring new friends. 
hit my DMs on Instagram, my Twitter. Hit me up, okay? Because this girl is a good friend. She bought all the stuff she bought for CD for CJ. I'm probably gonna title this video um CJ's dad is being exposed or or CJ Road Dad is exposing Chris. Something like that. Because the way she sounded was like Chris wasn't really doing anything for, 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 for baby Chris when what when uh Queen was pregnant to after she gave birth. Like the way and plus he was beating her while she was pregnant. Like beating her eight months pregnant and then he threw her out of the house with her bra and her, her underwear. Or boxes or whatever. Like what? And she's pregnant, about to give birth in about a month. You doing that? Now it's kind of like probably probably this is the reason why she had so much difficulty giving birth. Like and then she she mentioned that Queen has stated the fact that she has asked God if Chris was the right person for her and God said no he wasn't. But then again she's going back and like Having stuff to do with him. I feel like that's also one of the reasons why her, her marriage is not going right. Because if you already know that God refused something to happen. And you are forcing it. You are doing something you didn't want. And this girl went all the way to the fact of saying that. Queen got pregnant in her mama's house. In the bed. Like. What? That's not a friend. That's a really good friend. That's not. That's even a sister. That's not even a friend. That's like your sister. She's gonna like give you the opportunity to leave her, stay at her place up to the point of having your boyfriend over and your boyfriend is sleeping with you and getting you pregnant in her mama's house. Like, and you're just gonna drop this type of friendship? Like, really though? Like, I love Chris and Quinn, especially Quinn. Let me just be straight, especially Quinn. But then again, I feel like this is messed up, especially, especially if it's real. And I feel like she should definitely watch this video and address them. Like, she should definitely address them because if that's really how she is, then that's messed up. And I know some people are not going to believe this because obviously, all the, like, this girl knows all her family. That she's dimensioning names, not just saying her mom, her sister, dimensioning their names and where they live and everything. They even mentioned the scamming issue and everything. That's how you know they really know Chris and Queen. Okay? They really know Chris and Queen. I'm just like, wow. They, they, they cannot just name Chris and Queen's family members without knowing them for real. So even if Queen comes out with the video, I'm sorry, I love her, but even if she comes out with the video saying, oh, she was just doing for a clout, like, she could have posted on YouTube for clout. She would have gotten some check this month because that video hit so many views because so many people are, like, shocked and want to watch it. But she decided to go on Facebook Live. Like, that's not really going to give her anything, like she said. It's not really for fame. But I think she, she, I think she actually feel some type of way and wants to address it and since there was no way that they could contact Queen they just decided to go ahead and make videos and also who is Chris for her to call her best friend Chris is gonna be like stop calling my girl or whatever what like who are you that's what I'm saying at the end of the day okay after what I have reacted to earlier you guys should watch the video I reacted her I think it's Nakrisha video that's also one of uh, queen's best friend that also spoke about this whole situation um after i reacted to that video i mentioned so many real stuff in that video i don't want to repeat in here because it's basically going to be me repeating myself but i feel like queen is the like queen queen is not the one acting the way she's like queen is not acting the way she's acting out of her own mind i feel like she's being manipulating manipulated Okay, because Chris seemed to be the type to manipulate people. Like, let's keep it straight and real, okay? Chris seemed to be the type of boyfriend to tell you what to do. You don't do it. He gets mad. And Queen seems to be, like I mentioned, Queen has daddy issues. And what are daddy issues? When you feel like you need the presence of a man in your life. When you feel like you need a man. Like, a man can do anything to you. But man, you will still get back up and be like, no, I'm for him. Like, we were meant to be. Oh, you always find excuses and reasons to stay there. Even though you shouldn't be there at the first place. You know what I'm saying? And also, I know all y'all little kids who comment down below. Oh, leave them alone. Oh, this and that. They're just looking for clout. Oh, you're looking for clout too. First of all, I react on my channel. And I do so many other things. You, If you don't want to watch the reaction, you can check out all my other videos. I have challenges. I have pranks. I have, I have story times. I have... 
tutorials. I have so many things on my channel. If you don't want to watch my reactions, you can watch something else. That doesn't stop you from watching my other videos. Instead of you coming here, I don't want to watch none of your videos. Um, I'm not subscribing as well because you are just making them, like, you're just um, uh, being in their business. Guess what? When you decide to be a YouTuber, I'm not considering myself as a YouTuber because I'm still, like, I'm doing this as a hobby. It's not, like, my full-time job or anything like that. But as them that big YouTubers, you're supposed to expect all this hate. I'm sorry. Some of you guys be leaving hate comments down below. What do I do? Delete and block you. Like, I delete and block you, and I thank you in my heart. I'm like, thank you for the view. Like, you added me one more view, okay? Your comment, sometimes I don't even read your comments. When I see that, it's something rude at the beginning. I'm like, oops, okay, delete and block. Okay, I don't have the time to be rude about it because earlier today Chris came on live and mentioned someone like said something rude on his live and he was like, do you know who we are? My bank account is bigger than you. I would bet you wouldn't say that in my face. This and that the third. Like, why does it always have to surround around money? Like, y'all are too money hungry. It's okay to like money but not love it or be obsessed about, you know, about money. Like... Anyways, guys, this video was already too long for me to ramble some more. If y'all want me to, you know, keep talking about it, hit my Snapchat. I'll make sure I, you know, make it post like a snap story explaining how I really feel because I don't want to make this video any longer. And you guys already know, make sure you turn on your notification bell because I, be, I do do a uh, YouTube live. So if you guys want it, I can also do a live video or a live stream and come on here and tell you guys, you know, Continue telling you guys how I really feel because this topic is not something this little but then again I know y'all don't want to be here for an hour and 30 minutes like that's dead I wouldn't stay unless it's a movie or something like that. So I'm gonna cut it right here And yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below We are almost at 30,000 subscribers. Let's make it happen by the end of September like we are like literally Six or seven days away from the end of wait Yeah, six days away from the end of the month so you guys can make that happen okay you guys can definitely make that happen and i really appreciate it don't forget guys once we hit 10,000 subscribers i'm doing a huge huge giveaway like i cannot wait i'm already starting to preparing stuff and like saving up my money for that giveaway but yes guys also don't forget to also check out my other video if you're not subscribed once again don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below make sure you turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever you get a video from your girl and also comment down below any type of video you would like to see next definitely make sure you check out my social media platform i will list them down below and somewhere on the screen and it's also in my description box or the detail box down below so you guys can always go ahead and look at my username on my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat to add me so we can interact there more because I always, you know, talk to you guys and interact back with you guys and whenever, like this one, one of your, my subscribers uh, sent me these links to react to these videos, for instance, and I did. So I always interact with you guys and, and ask you guys what you guys want to see next and all that stuff. Okay guys, enough rambling. I will catch you on my next video. Bye guys!